Hey, I'm Unstoppable Christy. I'm Unstoppable Jenny Rose. And today we're talking about death. That sounds pretty depressing. It is. I mean, everyone grieves differently and deals with it differently. It's like, you don't know how much should you grieve, how sad should you be, oh my god, I didn't well, that's cry. That's a preference What's thing, that's a culture me? thing. Yeah, definitely. You know, a lot of cultures celebrate when you die. There's a lot of, it. yeah, a lot of religions celebrate that mm, because that. they're celebrating your life. They have right. parties, mm -hmm. there's music, there's dancing, there's a lot of talk about how you impact each other and it's not really a sad time. Now, in a, um, for example, I know mm -hmm. for a fact because we were talking about this at work. Right. A, a, no, no. Go on. A Jewish, a real culture, mm -hmm. uh, kosher, excuse me, Jews, you, there is no smiling, there's no laughing, there's no crying. They get, they're very quick about it where right. everything happens within three days of the passing. Oh. They want the body in, in, the body in the ground within three days. They don't believe in leaving it out and, and everything. And it's a lot of, a lot of praying and it's a very sad time. And then there's right. other cultures that everybody brings food mm -hmm. to your house, everybody cleans your house. Wow. You know, you don't have to do anything because you're mourning. And right. I don't think there's no time limit on how long you can mourn or grieve. You know, like some people are like, oh, it's only sad for a week, it's okay, you could grieve for a year, you could grieve for a week, however long it takes you. Well, the, if somebody, uh, you know, we're, we're not being any particular person that passes away, but anybody mm -hmm. that has a, a general impact on your life, being your parents, right. or a sibling, yeah. or even somebody you're not with anymore. A miscarriage, any of that. Anything like that. that involves death and, and it's loss. Yeah. And any loss is, is, is a sad time and it's a time to reflect. Definitely. And to reflect on your life. Right. You know, when you see people die so young from car accidents or yeah. shootings, you just have to stop and think, what am, what would happen if that was me today? Mm -hmm. What what would we, um, people say about me and what accomplishes, accomplishments that I made? Right. You want would you be happy it. with your life if you ended today? Right. You know, not a lot of people can say that. I agree. I definitely you agree know, with some you. Some people there. die too young, you know. I think that's you the saddest thing. You should always find someone to talk to or a support group if you know you just need someone to talk to or you know if you need to cry, cry. Um, I don't say you know. I know some people get angry when someone dies. I don't recommend getting angry and blaming people. Well, you know, it, it's constructive anger. A lot of if you mm -hmm. need to scream it out. Get right. a bean bag, get a, yes. one of those dummy things, go to the gym, mm -hmm. and just work out your frustrations. You right. know, punch the bag. Don't take it out on somebody like Chris is trying to say. Right. But if you need to scream, scream, let it out, because it's exactly. not good to bottle stuff like that inside. I agree 100%. You know, it's, all, it's much harder, and it, 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 it delays the grieving process if you hold things Right, up. right. You need time for yourself, or more time by yourself or off for work or you need to work a lot of people yeah like to stay in the busy. routine I would keep myself busy. and then people think that oh they don't really care but meanwhile if they stopped they would they lose would it. lose it definitely. so they were trying to keep control which is fine so definitely definitely that's why I always keep busy you know I'm trying to not keep well, it on my keep mind busy but you know what it's mm -hmm. always on your mind it is it don't it never it goes away mm-hmm you know, somebody in your life is gone, that's it. Yeah, you know? I mean, years down the line, you still think about that person, you know. Things you didn't get to say. Yeah. Things you planned on doing. Exactly, or wanting to see them do, or anything, you know. Like, my recent experience, um, my boyfriend just recently lost his father. Right. And I never met him, and during the whole process, I was crying, because this is a poor an important person right. to my boyfriend. They were very close. Mm -hmm. He learned how to ride a motorcycle and everything about cars and the fact that he lost him so quickly and, and yeah. at such a young age, it's like I, I missed out on meeting a great person. Right. Hopefully you get to hear some good stories. And yeah, you get to hear great stories about this person and it just yeah. makes it sadder though. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I definitely understand. I lost my father when I was three. I don't even remember him and I'm still like sad. Like I miss my father but I never knew him. Exactly. You know? So it's, <laughs> it doesn't matter 
you know, if you know the person or didn't know the person, it's the impact that people yes. make on each other's lives. I agree. I agree 100% with you there. So. So with that being said, take as long as you need to grieve and talk to someone if you have to. Stay with your family and make the best of it. It doesn't get easier, but it more manageable after time and, and don't have your life stop because someone else yes. is dead you know what they they would want you to continue on and, and maybe open your eyes to things yeah that you know you say you want to go back to school you want to go do this yep. or that then that's the time to do it Definitely. get settled into doing what you want to do do what you want to do and do it now we love you love Bye. you Bye. Bye.